Hi guys, Debbie here with Wrestling in 60 Seconds. I'm bringing you a bunch of wrestling news. I'm trying to keep it brief, but it's going to be minutes and not seconds. Let's start off with Trippamania. In Mexico, I did not do a report on this, so that's why I'm letting you know it, it is tonight. Kenny Omega is going to be the main event with El uh, Day. I call it Viking, but I know I slaughter his name all the time. But that's going to be the match. But the other interesting people that are going to be there is Willie Mack, Camille, QT Marshall, Jack Evans, Penta, Gringo Loco, Vampiro, Laredo Kid, Sexy Star, and Taurus. And of course, Sexy Star is not the original Sexy Star. There's a long story. I should maybe do a blog on it um, about what happened with the original Sexy Star that was in Lucha Underground. The interesting thing about this match, not only in the main event, but there's going to be a tag team ambulance match. The Laredo Kid versus Penta versus QT Marshall versus Taurus. Now, if that doesn't sound interesting enough, um, yes, I want you to know that I did hear about Brian Pillman Jr. showing up at the WWE Performance Center this week in Orlando. But, guys, don't pay so much attention about that. That doesn't mean that he ne necessarily signed with WWE because there have been many times that wrestlers have showed up at the Performance Center, for instance, just after they had signed uh, Cody Rhodes, Brandy went down to the Performance Center for about four weeks and trained. They didn't sign her. In fact, nobody has signed Brandy for a wrestling contract. So it doesn't necessarily mean that if you go down there to train, they're going to offer you a contract. Another um, point to that is in October, it was really interesting because I had took a picture of, I forgot who the wrestler was, and Peyton, I want to thank you, she saw the photo and she was like, oh my God. The Righteous is in the audience. And yes, they were. I knew, but I couldn't think of their name. And they came in with Dory Funk and his wife and about six other of his students. Uh, Dory Funk has a wrestling school about 45 miles from where I live. And I got some news about that later on. But getting back to that. Um, and they hold tryouts for his wrestling school. And I don't know if the Righteous came down just to watch the show because they sat in the audience. They weren't backstage. They didn't sit with um, where they would hold uh, VIPs at or anything like that. So, just because Brian Pillman went down to the Performance Center doesn't mean they signed him. You know, I just wish the best for him. I feel bad for him because once uh, Julia Hart left and Grift got injured, there wasn't any... They just couldn't come up with something for him. They tried changing his gear, changing his music, teaming him up with different people, especially on the Darks and the and the uh, ROH. And it didn't. It, they just couldn't find anything to work. I hope they do because he's really he deserves it. Speaking of ROH, um, as you know, I have posted that Mark Briscoe has a knee injury. Supposedly, he should be out for six weeks. And supposedly, his um, Claudio's opponent will be announced at Blood and Guts on Wednesday. Now, I don't know about you. I'd be interested if you, he if you make comments in uh, the section down below. Because am I the only one that's been disappointed in ROH since they signed that new TV deal? And since they took Dark and Dark Elevation, because to me, ROH has become Dark and Dark Elevation. You know, they, they do the same matches, different locations, so you're not re-watching the same match, technically. But 
I'm thinking we have two weeks before death before dishonor. And uh, we still don't know anybody who's wrestling in it. Now, true, they might be, you know, so preoccupied with all in and all out. Which, by the way, I have heard that they're going to do a bundle deal with all in and all out as a pay-per-view package. Which would be great if we could get them both at a cheaper price. Um to be neglecting ROH like they have. And I'm actually thinking about uh, canceling my subscription because I got it. I, I love ROH. I was expecting them to go on tour, uh, which didn't really happen. And like the pay-per-views, there's nothing. Nothing. You can't get anything about them. And are you just going to have a wrestling promotion holding pay-per-views? I mean, that doesn't make sense either. But, anyway, let's go on to the next thing. Let's talk about G1. G1, I had, and I put the um, sign in where you could sign in and watch G1. I don't know why New Japan, um, I don't know, maybe there was a technical difficulty. I tried to log on yesterday after watching the pre-show. And the press conference they had, oh my gosh, it is so good. And yes, Eddie Kingston does show up. It's at the very end. But they have a fight that breaks out in the press conference. And it's it's good, like I said. Um, Jeff Cobb is there. At Je Jeff Cobb is in a suit. You know, we're like, whoa, when have you ever seen Jeff Cobb in a suit? Anyway, um... It was interesting. Also, um, if you couldn't log on with that, it's on YouTube. And it's going on now, along with the, the press conference and highlights. And we're, Deborah's watching it as I'm doing this, so she can catch me up on it. Um, let's see. The other thing that I want to talk to you about, of course, Dominic... Mysterio is supposed to show up at NXT this Tuesday. I don't know if we're going to be there. I got the invitation. We got to accept it. We can go. We're doing a house show with NXT on Saturday with a Q&A. So I'm not sure if I want to do both or if I want to do one or the other. Since I already have the tickets for NXT house show and it's in my hometown. That would, you know, because... I, <laughs> Believe it or not, guys, I spend like $65 for gas just driving from where I live to Orlando and back. And yes, I do have gas left over. Um, the other thing I want to bring mention, I will have live uh, wrestling for you on August 5th. Probably late afternoon on August 5th because Extreme Knockouts is doing another uh, promotion. It's a local promoter, I know. And he is doing uh, a, another wrestling show. So I'll be able to uh, film that. Also, I have talked to... The last time we were at Citrus Springs, I believe I told you I met Dory Funk's wife. And um, she is so nice. And I did not know that they do weekly shows. She said that they are on hiatus until August. And that for us to, <clears throat> excuse me, we can come on down and we can film. It's on a TV station. However, it's none on any of the TV stations that I know about. And we only live like 45 minutes away. So I'm not sure where this is being showed at. But at least I'll be able to check it out. And um, Dory and Terry Funk, I mean, they are icons in, in professional wrestling. Let me see if I have anything else. <clears throat> oh, in August, um, we're going to be, not only are we doing extreme um, knockouts on August 5th, we have set the paperwork in for the AEW show in Tampa for the press passes. We haven't heard anything yet. And we have two house shows of NXT in Jacksonville and at Citrus Springs. So, uh, we're going to be very busy. Um, 
Uh, also, I want to make mention that Slammiversary, the pre-show is at 7.30 tonight on YouTube. Um, I do have on the Slammiversary video uh, what the pre-show matches are. And, of course, they can change um, at any time. But, you know, I really want to take this time to thank you for the ones who have been subscribers from the very beginning. I want to thank you guys for hanging in with us, you know, and for the newbies who just signed up and, and subscribed with us. You know, send me your questions. You know, like, what do you... If there's a wrestler that you haven't heard about or want to know what he's doing or whatever, send it to us. You know, we love getting comments. And as always, I want to thank you for watching, subscribing, and as always, bye for now.